Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In the previous video, I talked about the difference between the autocorrelation function and partial autocorrelation function. These two concepts are closely related. In the case of autocorrelation function, we calculate uh, correlation between yt and its uh, kth lag. And in the case of partial autocorrelation, we remove in between uh, lags uh, correlation. Now we can use uh, these uh, two concepts to choose the value of uh, p and q in our ARIMA models. We will use ARIMA model of the form p d0 if uh, the autocorrelation function is uh, exponentially decaying or sinusoidal. That is, it will decay exponentially and move towards uh, 0. And then we have a significant spike at the lag p in the p SEF but none beyond uh, the p lag. On the other hand, we'll choose a uh, ARIMA model of uh, 0 dq that is, we'll only choose uh, the moving average component of uh, the ARIMA model and uh, will not include any AR process in the ARIMA model if uh, the partial autocorrelation function is uh, exponentially decaying or sinusoidal and uh, there is a significant spike at uh, lag Q in the ACF but uh, no significant spike uh, beyond Q. One thing to notice here is that we cannot choose uh, both P and Q using ACF and uh, PACF. That is, if uh, both P and Q are positive, then these uh, two plots uh, may not help us to choose appropriate values of uh, P and Q. That is, we can only choose uh, the AR process or we can choose the MA process uh, using uh, these uh, two graphs. Nevertheless, it's a very good starting point uh, and uh, we always uh, start by looking at the ACF and PACF and then we fit a model, we try to find uh, another model in the neighborhood of uh, this uh, initial model. So we'll talk about uh, this issue later on. In the next video, I'll show you some examples of how to choose uh, P and Q using uh, these two graphs. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.